what a year 2023 has been and it's certainly had its ups and downs but much more than anything I think more than any other year I've really seen the beauty of the Philippines from north to south this year so this since I've just been at home over Christmas with family I've not had a chance to put together a new video as such but I wanted to look back on the highlights and the journey that I've taken this year so I started this year back in January with a trip with Kulas right down into Savangani and to Kiamba Yo! Kiamba! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love these boats. This boat are going to a bigger boat. <laughs> I, I, I was just thinking. <laughs> Welcome to the Titanic. <laughs> I do it. Never let go, Jack. Never let go. <laughs> Tuka one and two are closed to the public. But Tuka three, we are wandering here towards the 1,000 steps. I am not climbing the 1,000 steps for obvious reasons. I'm going to climb the 20 steps inside the mansion. <laughs> this guy, he's going to climb the 1,000 steps. Dude, I'm going barefoot, man. To Yosa, Utah. Good for you. To Yosa, Utah. Are these part of the 1,000 steps? Four no. steps? That's all I'm climbing. This house, built by Pacquiao. Okay. I'm going to, I'm, I'm exploring. I'm taking over the mansion. I'm going to climb the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 12, 13 plus 4, 17 steps. Pacquiao's mansion was built here a few years ago, but there's one issue. Sorry, I'm trespassing on your house. Hello. Oh. Oh. Wait, I'm gonna see where I'm actually allowed to go. I can go inside right now, is that okay? Oh. He's not allowed. Man, I'm trespassing in your house, but not inside. I'm just gonna climb upstairs. I'm allowed to climb upstairs, apparently. I'm allowed to look at the great view of the ocean. I won't go inside. I'm not allowed to go inside. It's nice, Amakan house. Amakan, hardwood, orange and yellow and brown. It actually works nicely, I like this. Pac-Man has style, yeah. And I'm not just saying that because you can knock me out. Okay, I'm not gonna trespass anymore. I'm done trespassing. I'm not very good at this. Nobody really knows the story of the mansion, so I'll have to ask Pac-Man nicely if I can visit. But then we went our separate ways. Kula still had time, but I had to go back to Davao. And on my way back, well, early disaster. And then I start to climb again, and the road does this. So I saw there's a corn truck there and I asked the corn truck driver, can I go? Why you like Sabu? Larry, why you like Sabu? And I was asking extra carefully because, hey, I'm riding a sniper. My tires are road tires. It's not designed for this. Kaya. Kaya. Uh-oh. Hey. <laughs> little kids checkpoint amazing okay seems like I can and I immediately saw that oh this is this is not quite where I should be but okay had I known that this road was here, I probably wouldn't have come this way. The next section, I came down the hill, across this culvert, and this road was so... This was the normal part, and the okay part, and the gravel part, that I didn't film it. The next thing I know, I'm... Well, I flipped a couple of times. I land, I'm underneath my motorbike, I'm trapped. I'm screaming for help. Honestly, I sound like a dying pig, but I was just hoping someone would hear me. I felt trapped there. As soon as I heard the voice of, I think it was Datu. Okay, good, good, good. Sir! Oh, sir! 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 Oh. Oh. Sir! Hey! 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 Sir! Hey!
Salamat, huh? Salamat. Oh man, those guys are my heroes. The problem is I didn't come with you. That's why. why. <laughs> you didn't inform me that you're going to go here. Oh. I wanted to surprise you. Uh, yeah. You surprised then... me, but I'm not surprised. It's on the ground. Ah, I wanted to surprise you, but the road surprised me. Back my butas para Oh, no. Back my butas <laughs> oh, selfies. It's okay. It's, it's okay. A... <laughs> you think it's just spraying them? Yeah, mm. I think so. It'll be okay. Commander Dao is very strong. <laughs> Sensible for once in my life. <laughs> Which meant we had to take the road through Boring Lot instead. <laughs> oh! <laughs> In these communities, always super friendly. My <laughs> dog! Oi, see ya, Nico! Come on, up beside ya! Did he release son? And you thought parking was a big issue in the city. Oops! So, in the safety of my pickup truck with a new setup. And if I wanted, if I had any desire right now to take a nap, I could. However, I don't. This. This is happiness. I might sleep up here now. It's kind of comforting. This foam's so soft. But I managed to escape. Oh, can he? Oh, 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 I started planting Karamansi, and we planted almost 3,000 in Agusan del Sur. These seedlings must be handled with great care. Oman manga gamut. Oh, that So these are Marcot, so they're literally just cuttings of an established plant, small branches. Put them in water, let them grow roots, and then you put the roots straight in. They have calamansi on them already. Can't harvest it. And it was cold in January. It was, it really was. I'm breathing like this, huh? <laughs> it's like being back home. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like what we used back, to, eh? As kids, we used to go, true, true, let's do that together. <laughs> and I got back on the motorbike. I was able to, after six weeks, and made it to one of my favorite adventures of the year, whitewater rafting in Wa'o. Oh, yeah. This was kind of a warm up because from there, I started a three month trip. What's the man? Okay, go. Okay, go. Okay, go. Who remembers this? I made new friends. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Seventh City. The bumpy started to rain. Heavily. There's my ticket. <laughs> Forgot about that. It's <laughs> 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 the final stretch in the world. Oh no. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Conditions are bad but I was able to satisfy my cravings. This is the most important of all. The chicken oil is back. I haven't eaten in a cell anywhere because I can't. Let's be super, super unhealthy. Okay, chicken oil. More chicken oil? <laughs> There's never enough chicken oil. <laughs> Man, we're just gonna... The wind's coming back and the rain. 
Get out, we're late. I've changed oil on my motorbike. We're good, we're good to go. This is a fantastic place to stay and I'm definitely gonna stay here again next time I'm in Iloilo. Bell boy. Oh, your name is David Bell. Bell boy. <laughs> and how can I forget this distillery? Awesome, awesome craft room in Antique province. Um, welcome to Grand Vaquero. <laughs> I like this. I think uh, discipline, discipline's what we need. <laughs> this is Mom Joanne. I'm going ahead. I don't know where I'm going. You're going this way. Crazy. That's awesome. This is cool too. This is. Operations are not yet in full swing here, but they do have a seven-year-old room. It's an awesome backdrop. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> you even have a chimney. Yeah. This is built in 2015. The distillery was running on 2016. Now it's eight years old rum inside the distillery. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> Nice and smooth. Where do you source your sugar cane? Here in Lawaan. There's a lot in Lawaan. You saw it? Yeah. The moment of truth. <laughs> That's very good. Absolutely a light flavor, but it's caramel. Yeah. Just disappears. Just disappears from the coconut trees. It's awesome. I could sit here and watch that all day. But not today, because we're boarding a ship heading to Mindoro. And aside from a Boracay sunset, there was another surprise. For motion sickness. I, in case of vomit. <laughs> that fills me with confidence. But let's just say, I'm glad I took one. All I can say is this is a journey I'll never forget. Start with adventure, that's for sure. I only spent a day here. But one province that really gives me good memories is Occidental Mindoro. A magical place with magical people. We came down from the mountains and suddenly we noticed the air is so much drier. It's really, really dry. They're growing onions. It's cattle country. It's very, very yellow. It's just, we've been transported to a different world here in Maksaisai. Very, very cool to see. And there were a couple of reunions this year too. First, Chef Pablo, and then of course, boy first time. Influencer! <laughs> but an even bigger adventure is beginning. We are taking this to the Cordilleras. Our trip was meant to be much longer, but he had to go back down to Manila, then the Influencer. This was the part that we were together, and it was really, really enjoyable to ride the Halsama Highway again. Yes, sir, good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, for today? Uh, Sagada. You're going to Sagada? Yes, sir. Uh, have you already have your uh, license? Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Sir, thank you. Thank you. A few hundred meters away is the highest point of the Halsema Highway. At an elevation of 2,255 meters, until 2019, this was the highest point of the whole Philippines highway network. This is it. The highest point. We're here. It's a very old sign that it's been, it was that for a while. <laughs> this view is very sad at all. <laughs> and for me, this is a story of the challenges that you face on this road. The heights, the elevation, the winding roads. It's absolutely fantastic, but it's a challenge. And every challenge has this fantastic ending. Let's do it. From the highest point to the lowest point. Where's the lowest point? Manila. Hagonoi. <laughs> Hagonoi. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, it's a car. Let's not do it yet. Just the, I'm just amazed with this valley. A 
and these terraces are absolutely incredible. I can't tell you how incredible it is to just be riding through here surrounded by these terraces. It's the combination of many, many human hours. history of these terraces are intertwined with the culture of its people. They show the remarkable knowledge and abilities of those living here even hundreds of years ago in land and soil management, pest control and irrigation, and their strength to build by hand on this scale. And we travel through these awe-inspiring landscapes until I saw this. <laughs> <laughs> I want to check this out, that's amazing. I've never seen this before. This is awesome. This pulls up the vegetables, huh? Yes, yes. yes. Oh, wow. amazing, amazing. It's the tamarau. Oh, wow. That's so, so unique. That's really, really unique. Never seen that before. The driver engages the gear and presses on the accelerator using the car's drivetrain to operate the pulley. <laughs> These Toyota Tamarows are everywhere. They even use them for pulley lifts. This is awesome discarding. And before I know it, the vegetables are at the top. Oh, everything's possible. Oh, yeah. automatic. Oh, automatic. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many kilos? <laughs> I'm uh, 200. 200? 200. Yes. Heavy, huh? So, the people will kill it up there. Until tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One truck. Ah, one week. <laughs> hmm. This one, one truck load. How long? Two hours? Or? Yes, yes. Hmm. More than two hours. Ah, more than two hours. So. Then, by using reverse gear, they can send it back down. Bye. But nice. Feel. I like that. I like that a lot. That's really cool. Okay, I'll go ahead. Uh. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> I keep telling him we're going to go straight to Cigar, it's impossible. Oh, do I get a free... Yes, I get a free shower. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's wet. <laughs> That's cold. Nature all around is so peaceful. And the valley, even though it's built up, has that same quietness. These are the hanging coffins hung high so they can be close to the spirits. I heard that actually in years past, the elderly would carve their own coffins. It's very, very interesting. 2000 years of burial rites, something quite unique to, to this part of the Philippines too. You know, there's this certain air of, of peace and calm and serenity here, really. It's good to spend time with yourself, with nature and just appreciate what's around you. Serenity. But I still feel calm. A journey to feel at peace with myself. That's what this place does for me. This view, I remember this view. I have a photo. I had a lot of awesome, awesome adventures up in the mountains. And actually I came back down to Vegan and then back up again. We're taking the Besang Pass, which is absolutely beautiful, all the way to St. Anselm's Church. There's one. In Tadian, a dry season phenomena. Rabi, the noise it makes when it burns. But I was told that this is managed. These are controlled burns, burning off lots of dry matter so it doesn't become an uncontrolled burn that threatens lives and property. And there's fire trucks on standby just in case. Strong ego. <laughs> so I want to tell you a little story about today's mission because I don't know. I was just searching Google Maps a few months ago. I wondered, is there a Saint Anselm's Church in the Philippines? Because of course my name's Anselm, and it's very unusual. He is a saint, an Archbishop of Canterbury from the 11th century. But I was really interested to know, does he have a church? And he does, and it's somewhere nearby here. 
just behind that hilariously named Mont Clitoris, according to Google Maps. I might be wrong. Don't shoot the messenger. But I, I really, I'm intrigued to find out. So that's what, that's why I'm doing this today. I'm in the area. I thought that would make the nice end of an epic journey over the Bersang Pass will be trying to find the church that has the same name as me. Sang, seems cool. Let's have a look. Mountain, I found the place that Google told me to go. There's a highland just at home. I think this might be the one, but I don't know. I'm gonna have a look around and see. Is that it? Is this St. Anselm's Church? It could be. It's episcopal. It's locked. San Carlos, Santa Maria. I don't know. Happy birthday, Jesus. But I don't know. I guess it might be. Oh no, this isn't. This is St. Charles Borromeo. I think it's that one up there. Episcopal. I think it's the rock building. It looks kind of Welsh as well. It's not this one. So with the mystery still not solved, I went to the store to ask someone. Is there a St. Anselm's church here? St. Anselm's? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh. Hey, good morning. Is there a St. Anselm's church? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, this one, this one. This one here? Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. This stone, stone wall? Ah, stone that's, wall. that's the St. Anselm's oh, yeah. I asked if my name's Anselm, so I look for the ah, only, yeah. so, the only <laughs> St. Anselm's church in the Philippines. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that one. Oh, you are a saint? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish no. <laughs> you ask my wife, maybe my wife will tell you. <laughs> Can I uh, buy something here? Yeah. You have, uh, I eat soft, I eat some soft drinks now. What's the, this place called? Pandayan. Pandayan? Yeah. Pandayan, like carpenter? Or? Yeah, Pandayan. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'll go check it out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah, got to go. Okay, got the right one. Beautiful stonewall chair. Makes sense, it's an Anglican church because St. Anselm was an Archbishop of Canterbury. I'd love to ring the bell, but. My surname's Plummer, and this place is named after carpenters as well. <laughs> Anselm Carpenter. This is cool though, you know? I like just coming to random places and just with reasons like this, you know? It's cool. And this is a really chilled village as well. It's nice, it's really nice. I like this a lot. Wow. There yeah, it is. Bye bye. Mountain Dew in hand, of course. Right, let's go back up before I so I can form some words and it's hot. Actually, I came here because this church has the same name as me, St. Anselm. And my name's Anselm. Wow, it's beautiful. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, uh, yeah, beautiful church, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just I thought, okay, I'll. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. enjoy. Thank you, thank you. Kabayan in Benguet, a province that's so, so much more than Baguio, was one of my favourite stops as well. As I discussed in Sagada, the burial rites here are very, very different and they bury above ground. This boulder is very unique. Centuries ago, the Iboloi people made holes in this big rock and stored coffins inside of it. No tools have ever been found, but it's believed that they soaked the rock in ginger to soften it. 
Unfortunately, some imbeciles have felt the need to vandalise this sacred place, steeped in rituals and tradition. I'm really tempted to go up this road and see what's up this road. I was just reading about these caves here. I'm still sideways, I'm gonna go upright. Actually, the, the old burial rites are deep in ritual. They're not practiced anymore, but they used to mummify the bodies. It was untouched by colonialization and only really uncovered when they started logging the areas back in the 1900s, whatever, whenever that was. But the problem is they were vandalized, looted, people who have to put their mark on them, you know, as we saw in there a bit. And so this is really, really interesting. To learn more, we need to climb. Climb over 1,200 meters in only eight kilometers on this totally insane road. Quite literally into the clouds. Look how steep this is. I mean, I'm literally, I'm in first gear. Second gear, struggle. This is mad! Totally, totally insane! I don't know if you can appreciate how steep that road that right there is. I mean, I'm struggling to get up in first in places. And definitely second is an issue. I think the Guinness World Records needs to come here. I don't think the steepest road in the world is in Wales. I think they need to have a look at this road. Construction of concrete road. And somewhere at the top, I found it. The official sign right here and the unofficial sign right there. For centuries, the Iboloi people practiced embalming rituals also found in New Guinea and similar to the Egyptian 21st dynasty. Dying people drank salty mixtures to preserve their internal organs. After death, their bodies were cleansed, rubbed with herbs and set under fire. The mouth smoked out for weeks or months. Once dry, they were placed in a pine wood coffin and laid to rest in a cave or rock shelter. Uh, right now, I'm sorry to tell you, but the the premise is, is open, but the keep is closed. How how old's this one? You see, these mummies are before the Spaniards era. Oh wow! So more than 500 years. Uh, maybe I don't know. You really have to know where they were. Usually, find a place where. Just like this, a big rock on top, then the usually clean the, the one at the bottom, then that's where they place uh, most of the mummies. In the usually find a place that is, is uh, steep in where uh, people usually don't go. So most of the caves here in Kabayan are hidden. Uh, yeah, I think that's. The atmosphere is like, ooh, because of the <laughs> fog, right? It feels well, yeah. <laughs> you said the three types are the, we have the log type, the box type, and what's the third? Uh, it's, it's a sculpted one. Look like a carabao or a, some animals. So interesting. <laughs> so interesting. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Yeah? And then I had to go back down again. <laughs> I mean, it's almost appropriate that a road like this is going to burial grounds. Grabby. And the awesome Provincial Tourism Office of Benguet introduced me to this lady who was from the Cordilleras but had worked in the UK for many, many years and brought a slice of the UK to the Cordilleras. 
in the phone booth. I've been transported. <laughs> You're from Wales? Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you stayed in London. Did yeah. you stay in London? Yeah. Yeah, in the north. I know. Yeah, but I lived in, in the south for quite like more than ages. Then I moved to north. Where in the Wales north? Wales is so nice. Yeah, in Middlesex. So this is actually, of course, UK is my Satan home. So you know, <laughs> the concert. That, that's a, that has been my partner every day if I go to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah the bus, so I don't yeah. drive in London, unfortunately. No, you don't yeah. want to. <laughs> yeah, but of course, because in London it's all you know, it's all accessible. We have all the transport. Yeah. So, you yeah. know, so we're going to have some uh, one of the winner bus maybe next week. Yeah. That's gonna be a Liverpool, but I'm gonna chase it with Chelsea because I, I'm fan of Chelsea and that Oh, Liverpool. you're a Chelsea fan? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is just, this is brilliant. Oh, I, 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 British flags again, I haven't seen these for years. <laughs> oh, I, Aviva! <laughs> Aviva, yes! Yeah, we had that in Wales as well. I love how that says Aviva, that's brilliant. Aviva. Schools is inspired. I like this a lot. Drive the bus and I go to Wales. Yeah. <laughs> I'm driving a bus <laughs> in the mountains. When I was a kid, I dreamed of being a bus driver. I don't know why, but here we are, going to drive so fast and furious off the mountainside. Victory liner. This is cool, this is so cool. I'm loving my life in a bus. Everyone's standing on the bus. Yeah. <laughs> we're, going to, we're going to Northern Ireland. Yeah, Northern after, Ireland. After coming from Wales. Are we going to Wales? <laughs> we're going to Wales. We're Stop going to Wales. Wales. There's a river in Wales. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. A, a bus with wood inside. Hold on tight. Look, I don't really miss the UK. Don't live there. It's not my home anymore, but this is always fun. These are the good memories. Because this is kind of like one of those posh railway dining carts, you know? And it's warm inside. It's warm inside like inside a bus. It is. Yeah, no, it's windy. That's, it's, it's just right. It's warm inside there. Okay, now, where are we going? We're going to the uh, harbour on the hill. Yeah, okay. It's like in the countryside of UK. We've got some uh, ruins. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Commander in the castle, in the ruins of the castle, defending Tublai. I'm going the wrong way because no exit. I've got to go the other way. I've got to go the other way. <laughs> oh, and I'm exhausted already. Yeah, yeah. I have a weapon. <laughs> defending the castle. <laughs> this is Ibu Gao. Yes, Banawi. Important from Banawi to Tublai. <laughs> <laughs> How many people can you get on this? Can you get four people, five? Again? Okay. okay. And this time, my ride was more dignified. In my bed, three of them. I went back home for two weeks over Easter, spent time with family, and then I came back on the road and I went up to Isabella and flew in one of these Cessnas over to Palanan on the eastern coast. A town of 20,000 so remote that it was Aguinaldo's last holdout before the Americans tricked him into being captured in 1901. And it's a town that holds many more secrets. Memorable for sure. I'm on the first flight. I had to weigh myself, of course. 104 kilos apparently. I thought I'd lost weight. I haven't. And my bags. Just five kilos is free, my bag is ten kilos, you've got to pay for the extra five kilos. This is the hangar of Cyclone Everest, this is the, the one they're using for the flying school. And this is for the cargoes and passengers. 
Ten-seaters. Ten-seaters. Oh, yeah. It's a big plane, huh? And Cyclone Airways have been operating since 1958. We will take off at eight. Eight o'clock. Okay, so this is the departure line. Okay. So, okay, where, where am I going to sit, I wonder? Oh, this you, way. You're the copilot. I was about to ask you. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's the quick way to get in. Okay. <laughs> one, one minute. But 35 minute flight going over Sierra Madre. It's going to be cool. The weather's good. So that's why actually they said last night they cancelled the flight because of the weather being not so great. And they're being cautious because of course one a few months ago did come down. So, are they being cautious? There's a road under construction to neighbouring Devilakan, but it only goes so far. After all, the Sierra Madre is tough terrain. Then all of a sudden, the Palanan River Valley comes into view. Morning. Oh. <laughs> okay. Here we are, Palana. Longer. Good. How are you? Oh, okay. <laughs> I am Father Sam. I am the Father Spritz here. Ah, oh, nice to meet you. And Sam. And Father Sam, called Koya Boy. My daughter. Hi. Okay. Oh, Hello. Nice to meet you. Oh, I have a seat. Okay. Ah, perfect. Yeah. Jan. <laughs> so I'm not like a pig anymore. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ride here. He took me on one of my favorite tricycle adventures ever. Only next year they greet you. The front, okay. And now it's time to unload. And there's no shortage of passengers here. They're well practiced in loading and unloading tricycles to these tiny boats. Thankfully, it's just a short and not too deep crossing. <laughs> So this is the bridge they're building. Lack of cement. A lack of cement. Yes, because the transportation is the boat where we saw yesterday. Mm. That was very small. Out here, we see how life once was for all of us. Hey, where's the road now? Oh, here. Okay. <laughs> Now we're really in the heart of Palanan, the rice and corn fields that feed this town. Oh yeah! <laughs> and number two! Oh, just straight down the middle. <laughs> no. <laughs> but the road got easier on the other side. They're building a port here, which will cut the journey of the boat down from six hours to four. 
if it's here. The problem is right now the road takes two hours to get there. Once it's all concreted, that's going to be a very, very quick journey. Oh, and they have abundant seafood. Hey, and oh. wow. yeah, and then so much lobster. Wow, okay, yeah. Oh, awesome, huh? Yeah. How much is one kilo of, of your lobster? Uh, cup, cup. Uh, the good size is 650. And ah. just along the coast, we reach Didadongan White Beach with the bluest water I've ever seen. I can't describe how beautiful this place is. It's pure white sand and the colour of that water, I've never seen anything like it. And it makes that journey worth it. 17 kilometres, but it took two hours because the road's in that shape, but it just makes this more and more special when you get there. And all these roofs made from rattan, and you have the Dumagat people, the natives of this area, out looking for octopus. The indigenous people from the Napi was inviting the, the group of uh, tribe here to attend the wedding. The day before, Koya Boy had taken me to visit another Dumagat community. So this is a traditional Dumagat community, right on the beach, in the shade, Nipa homes, completely Nipa. They use that as a uh, uh, mat, uh, what do you call this one? Ah, to keep warm. Yes. <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh, so the fire is always on. Yeah. And you said, you said during wet season they, yeah. they move inland. Yeah. Because the sea is uh, too rough, mm. a big wave. And then they pull that out, all their houses, and they build again. So they build a new house yes, every yes, six months? Yes, uh, even, oh. even uh, for, for, the whole, for the whole day they can build only, already. This yeah. one is a uh, uh, rattan, a uh, leaf of rattan. Aye, that's rattan leaf, yes. not nipa. Uh, this one is nipa. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But especially they are using the, the rattan. The rattan. Uh, Warli. Warli. The best fisherman here. <laughs> he made his own uh, the own polo. Scapel, yeah. Yes. Wow. By using only this. Uh... Oh wow! See how good this one is. <laughs> in the Pardes Barangay near the Sierra Madre, yeah, yeah? almost end of the Pinakanawan River in Centro. Yeah. Yeah, near the Sierra Madre. Oh, so. uh, this one live there. Yeah. And then Warley uh, Court and then he brought him here. <laughs> Do the men from the mountains also come yes, to the beach, the yes, ocean and, and yes. take Wow and court and, then, and take the yes, women? Yes. Wow, so there's really uh Yes. That, so that always happens like that. Yes. They never caught inside their own yeah, community. No, they never caught uh, court here. No, 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 no. Wow. Okay. They travel from one barangay or one place. Yeah. Or okay. Dibilakan, some other time in in the other town. Mm. In Dinapig also. If there's any video from 2023 I could urge you to watch, it would be this one. It's really inspiring to show life in such isolation. Traffic. It's almost time for me to fly out, but on a slightly bigger plane. No baggage trolley or baggage carousel here. Smoking kills. So you, you had a delivery by air freight? Yeah, pay, uh, it was already paid by my uh, my daughter ah, in Kawaya. Oh wow, yeah, wow. The only way you can get mango in, any of fruit yes. is air freight. Wow. Because there is no mango here. There is a mango, but the, 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 the fruit is not, the, the tree is not bearing the fruit because mm. uh, the rain was, uh, we have a heavy rain here. The next day, my turn to leave. And it's bumpy in these small planes. But what an adventure it is. Are you from Cantilan? Yeah! I've been to Cantilan, it's super good also. Uh, you can stay in my house there, uh -huh. for free. You can stay uh -huh. there as long as you want. I and before I headed south to the Visayas, I went back up into the Cordilleras. Really a special region, and Mayo Yao. That was awesome. The stone culture, the stone masonry culture of the people, which is such a great, great skill. Before, the original ones, no concrete, no cement. And we have irrigation too. And it's not just the stone walls. The traditional Ifugao homes are also very intricate. Here in the Chaya rice terraces, farmers are supplementing their income by growing pikau, loaches that feed on the rice paddy waste. Ah, okay, so, so these traps are really in the rice fields. Yeah. 
there's a UU. Well, we have a uh, five UU here. Oh. You see? Oh, yeah. You want to see? Mm -hmm. UU. Oh. Hi. system. <laughs> oh, that is okay. a UU. Oh, okay, I see. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh. Oh, how big do these grow? Four inches. Four this inches. is the biggest. And they just feed on the on the roots. On the roots. The rice. Wow. Okay. So, do these actually help the rice plant as well? Yes. It can help it. So special flavored Gatorade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we still do it right now. We don't have any modern method of fishing. This is still the the one that they use until now. And this is called ukat in our language. Yeah. Can you say ukat? Carefully. Ukat. Ukat. Yeah. Ukat. Yeah. Good job. Ukat. Okay, so in the Ukat, you go the Jo 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 Jo. Yu Yu. Yu Yu. That one. Okay, so you got the Yu Yu in the. I've forgotten what this is ukat. called again. Ukat. ukat. <laughs> the Yu Yu is grown in the Ukat in the rice terraces. How many? How many of these can you put in one terrace? Uh, as many as you can. Yeah. To okay. catch more, the bait is that uh, rice wine. These eels are drunk here. goods. Yes. <laughs> okay, now we know. <laughs> now we know. Okay, I can relate to them a lot. Okay, great. But are they a pest or, or are no, they? No, they help um, cultivate the soil and maybe aerate the soil or the mud. They don't really cause too much damage to the rice field. The eels, are, they're just found, they're found naturally or are they put there? You said there was breeding here. Because they don't naturally breed anymore. So we breed them in the laboratory and then they release them. One gin, two by two, 350. And four by four, 700. And then it gets to the city, it gets to the city or out or anywhere else and it's already doubled the price. These are high value, high value species. The Japanese eel or the dojo must be really that valuable to the Japanese because they brought it all the way from Japan and then they taught the, the Ifugao farmers uh, how to breed it here and how to farm it here. So during World War II? Right. It is one delicious delicacy here. In... <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited to try this. A traditional spoon for soup. Okay, let's wash this rice. These peas are found in abundance in the mountains. I never tried these before. Mm. Let's try the one from the soup. Ooh. Well, that's really full of flavor. Wow. Wow. Mmm. Well, the deep frying really preserves the flavor. It keeps the flavor in and they're crispy. Benguet, again. This province was so eye-opening and especially this backside of Benguet, which is so different to the vegetable terraces, which are on the main house on a highway. This side is rocky and really kind of the last frontier. But this felt different, like we were in the midst of something great. Happy, just surrounded. Wow. And then back on the piers down there at the bottom. Wow. Deep in the valley below is the old poblacion of Bacon. Hello, goats. Wow, just every angle you see from the top. Even right down here to the bottom, it's something incredible, you know? Wow! The Lost City, alright? I'm calling this place the Lost City. I'm declaring this the Lost City of Beggin. This is awesome, amazing. And I'm going to focus on this road because it's very difficult and I admire whoever built it. Ooh. <laughs> oh man! Just invading a school in Bakun. This must be one of the most amazing settings for anywhere I've ever been in my life. Hi, <laughs> morning. What's this? The faces, the many faces. The oval has many referees. Hello again. Hello. <laughs> Have you been here before? Yeah. Uh, and we climbed the mountain. <laughs> there. That one there. Yeah, it is like an old lady judging me. Maritas, yeah. <laughs> Maritas. <laughs> So she's almost bald. These two have hair. And I'm told that when it rains heavily, it looks like they're crying. A 
our time here was just short, but I was in awe of this place, and how people lived in these remote mountain areas long before this road was here. By May, it was time to go to the Versailles. And the Versailles... I struggled a little bit because the ferry schedules were all over the blooming place. We travelled through the night until we reached Romblon town around 2am. But Romblon? That was a highlight. Marble everywhere. This, this town now, this island now rather, is the second largest producer of marble in the whole country after Bulacan. And Bulacan's huge. This small island produces so much. And it's very, very historic beyond that because actually this was one of the first settlements in the Visayas in the 1600s. 1630 this was established as a pueblo. Father Augustine de San Pedro. This guy really fortified this town. Actually he came to Manila 1623, immediately transferred to Mindanao where he stayed for 20 years. He even beat Sultan Kudarat in a battle. And he's the guy who really fortified this place and encouraged its inhabitants to be victorious against the Moros. And they were. Yeah. Yeah. Near the town, marble products line the streets. <laughs> Hello. My own <laughs> 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 so you too? Oh, good here. Okay. Really? Okay, lang. Okay, lang. Kita kita ko. Okay. Ayo. Wow. Oh, we got. Hey, Garabasa. This is beautiful. This is really a fish. It's really beautiful stuff. Wow, and oh, I like these tiny tigers. The craftsmanship is amazing. Danau, Danau, Lanco. The ladies do the finishing and polishing, and I decide to buy something from them. Ah, oh, oh, my, oh, ah, evo, evo. Oh, oh, evo. Oh, so the Gallo, I saw. I saw. Sabisaya, I saw, meaning I know smoke. Smoke. I am. 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 I Oh, oh, buaya, buaya, haya. I ended up with four pieces. It was nice to support these ladies. Shame I couldn't possibly carry this one. Aye. Oh, buaya. Buaya. Ilang idad mo? Sixty-eight. Ano na na share sinyo? Sinyo na oh, sao chupa ko din. Hard working ka na. Hey. Sino yan? Si Aguinaldo? Apo. Hindi siya. Ah, hindi? Hindi. Polis yata yan. Ah. Si Abila, salamat ha. So the ladies do the finishing, including that night. Beautiful work, and the guys do the hard carving. What on earth is going on there? Get demonetized for that, I think. Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Works really, really amazing. I'm in awe of this. Up next was one of my favourite adventures of all. I took this boat for five hours from Rojas over to Masbate. A route not normally taken, but it does have a regular scheduled service. And of course, while they were unloading the cargo, I had to wait. So I explored this island called Hintotolo. 
La más, la más. Ay, la más, la más. Ay, un luto. Un sabao. Ah, baka. Baka. Ah, baka. Ah, baka. 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 There we very nice people. This is a nice little unexpected stop on my back. It's a big store. Wow. General store. Wow. Oh, school supplies. Oh, mugs. Ah, uh, hello. I eat soft drinks, man. Yes, I have soft drinks, but it's not too cold. That's okay, as long as you have... Um, ah, an ice box. Yeah. Hey, this one, yeah, 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 okay, perfect. You like this? Yes, thank you. Oh, oh. there's no, I uh, don't know, no corriente. No corriente here. <laughs> What's that, huh? What's that, corriente? What's that, corriente? Mahirap. Mahirap dito. Where did you come from, sir? Today, Rojas. Rojas? Oh, 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 but I, I live in Davao, but I'm from the UK. Oh. From the UK, but seven years, Davao. Mm -hmm. Oh. What I need. Kaya? Oh. Thank you, thank you. Okay, this is very, very cool. This is awesome. <laughs> what have I randomly found by. This is awesome. <laughs> wow. What on earth is going on? I shouldn't be here, but I'm going to. Look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that one's locked. Not like right at the top, but this is awesome. Wow. That's very, very cool. <laughs> now you really get the 360 view and there's Kalumpong. <laughs> Kalumpong in the distance. This is awesome. This is such a cool island. This is why sometimes you just go with it. Just go with the flow, just appreciate what's around you. This is cool. Wow. Yes. <laughs> oh man. With difficulty. I just about fit. This is, look at it. It's so awesome. Very, very cool. Oh, my legs hurt now. Ow. Don't know what that says. Probably something important. There's more rooms, so much. What's going on? Nature's just taking it back, it's amazing. Right. My legs hurt. Ow, ow, ow. Next time we're gonna hang up balik dere, daghang, daghang, ay kasuro yan dere, mga bitchman po dere. Oh, daghang, no? Oo, oo. Ako, katakukan mo ko, tagapantayan si Buko. Ay, isip, maayo, pistaya pa ka. Maayo din mo lisot. Oh, sige. Marek's exciting. They just about got my motorbike off. <laughs> the guy at the port told me I should save Alani Beach. So, let's find a place, a random place. And I'm very thankful for this recommendation. to the Eastern Visayas. And I've been here before. It was also a reunion. And he made this burger for me. He looks very, very serious at me. So delicious. <laughs> okay, we're all gonna have him. That's he's, he's cooking one for me, one for my wife, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you won't be alone. This is gonna be a competition. That's, that, that's, that's what this is gonna be. <laughs> he's, he's cooking away in the back. Look at, look at him, he looks so serious. Then another one came out. Mine looks better than yours. 
<laughs> you I changed my mind, I put three patties instead. How's it look? It looks excellent and it looks also looks very, very unhealthy. It is. It's a greasy, it's it's a uh, after a good night young. out. Cheers. After a yeah. good night out, you know? Friends really make all the difference. And Francis was awesome. He showed me around his hometown of Ormoc. And those mountains? Wow. So we went to the barangay and hired a guide to take us to where we wanted to go yesterday. A place called Solfatara. We're in the shadow of some of the tallest mountains in Leyte. Mount Alto, which is the tallest in the whole region. Behind us, Lake Anagdan, which I probably got wrong. I wanted to go up there, it's a crater lake, but the weather's very, very variable up in the mountains, so you've really got to get good timing. Then we pass through this thick forest. And now it just opens up. So by the way, you need a tour guide for this, you've got to go to the barangay first. But the trek is very, very doable. Even if you're still fasting and you're fat like me. And less than half an hour later, here we are. We're not going to use the shortcut. We're going to use the not for fat people cut. And as we emerged, we were presented with this excellence. Nature presents us with this wonderful gift, emitting sulphur, a form of geothermal activity deep below the earth. <laughs> this is incredible. It's gorge. Of course, this here is Mount Alto. So this is the highest mountain in all of Leyte and Sama, all of eastern Visayas. 1,300 and something meters above sea level. Down here. This is incredible. And you can see the geothermal activity that shapes it. This is what I love. Just standing with nature. Okay, now through the difficult part for fat people are sideways. <laughs> Watch my feet. <laughs> there, I just ate grass by being that hot. There. There. Let's go back down again. Shannon and Emma, absolute legends, Aussie legends. And we went to the Mango Festival. All you can eat. 9 to 9.30 in the morning, we're eating. How many mangoes do you reckon? I'm gonna go six or seven, eight. I'm gonna try to break 10, ten. let's see. <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Okay. Mm. It's a really bad idea at nine o'clock in the morning. Nah. Okay. <laughs> Number two. Number two is going already. <laughs> <laughs> They're juicy. These are really, really good mangoes. I, I, I realize I've got napkins. I've got napkins which I've just... I've made them totally disgusting. Look at this bit. <laughs> I'm spreading mango everywhere. Like. I'm being whipped. I just had a grandmother's backyard memory. A grandmother's backyard memory, what? <laughs> I used to stand on mangoes and they'd squish between my feet. <laughs> and I hated mango. I didn't like it at all. <sighs> and now, now, look at you. I'm sitting. You're a changed man. Generous, eating mango after mango in a rather abrupt fashion. At nine o'clock in the morning. At nine o'clock in the morning. Abrupt fashion. That's, that's, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> I'm going to be spending the afternoon in a seated position. <laughs> on a motorbike. <laughs> with a little hole in the bottom. <laughs> Hope you got a spare pair of shorts. <laughs> I do. Oh man, I, I, it's getting to the stage where this is not a good idea. It's not. I'm <laughs> 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 Look at this. You know, I'm just dripping mango everywhere. You know in some sports when your brain overtakes your capabilities, your body's oh, capabilities. That's my life. <laughs> 
Yeah. 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 I'm starting to shake. <laughs> yeah. You done? Come out. Who, who, who is this guy who ate 13? I want to meet them. This is number nine. I'm, I can't go any further than this. Nine is my limit. I'm sweating mango everywhere. It's disgusting. And I'm genuinely <laughs> starting to feel unwell. If I go for any more, then... I can feel it. Oh man. Oh. Another one? <laughs> Never having another mango. <laughs> In your life. So when it's 13? Yeah. 13 kilos, not 13 pieces. 13 on an average of 4. How many is that? Almost 50. Yeah. One person. Yeah. <laughs> like what? 50 mangoes in 30 minutes? A very small guy. Oh, always. Yeah, uh, sweet. We, but we're big. We, yeah, we can't do anything. You're not big. <laughs> this was so awesome, though. Oh, this is fun. I'm sorry about my mess on my table. Okay. Everyone else is so clean. Yeah. No, no, no. We cleaned it already. It's, it's, that, it's the excitement of how you eat mangoes with your hands yeah. and all the mess. Yeah. But Rose, what a lovely lady. And I'm so, so pleased to see inside her farm. All organic. 22 years already. Wow. Yes. We, we planted this 600 mango trees and what is left is 570. Seven hectares are planted with mango and we have one hectare forest. We have this turmeric. There is an African night crawler, the Ooh. worm, who eat the manure from the cow, the carabao, the goat and the chicken. And the manure from the African night crawler, the worm, will become our fertilizer, our organic fertilizer. Some other use newspaper, but uh, since we are applying for a GAP certification, we are not allowed to use newspaper because there's an ink. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we have to use a white paper. In our classifying, the good, uh, the first uh, class and the second class. Only yeah. two classes. Yeah, because the processable grade we make a uh, dry mango, mango jam, mango pickles, mango concentrate. It should be only 10 minutes in the hot water. After hot water, have to dry here with the electric pump. So what's the purpose of doing this for? Uh, to avoid uh, the anthrax nose. The anthrax nose is a disease uh, during the raining. It will prevent that they will turn black the skin. Then we saw even more of Rose's products. Okay, this is what I'm most excited for. And how much do you retail a packet of? 200 pesos, 100 gram. Because for every one kilo of mango, you can make one. I and thought you don't want to eat mango anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Dried mango is fantastic. Mm. Then it was time for me to go home. But, Cotabato City, and a great, great food trip with my friend Ami. <laughs> Welcome to Cotabato. This is a lot more food than I was expecting. And it all looks amazing. Now, I made the right decision to not get on that other boat. <laughs> Except the decision was made for me. Also, I know what I just saw. Oh, it lights up. Are you excited? Yeah, I am. <laughs> You're the most excited of all. <laughs> There's so much food, I don't know what my favorite's gonna be because I love all of these dishes. Yeah. It's Monday. Monday. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Yes, good evening, sir. And everybody watching. All of these foods are from Bangsamoro. Yeah, selected food from different tribes of Bangsamoro people. That's great. I think that's why uh, this place is called Moro Ground. You know, I'm, I'm going to start, I've, I've got to start yeah. with, this is a very special dish, right? Sort of. Okay, that's for you. Yeah, oh, thank of you, course. thank you so of course. much. Thank you, brother. I like how much beef there is, there's so much beef in this. When did you first taste that uh, too late? I don't actually remember. Um, <laughs> I think it was in Zamboanga. Zamboanga. Okay. I think so. Blackened coconut is the secret ingredient to this. You literally blacken it, blacken it on a fire, boil it, then the beef comes in. There's some spices. I think it's, there's a lot of turmeric, ginger. 
Oh, nice and spicy. Ah, that's good. That's good spice. Cooked to perfection and <laughs> it's 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 <laughs> <laughs> you sure want the I'm, I'm causing panic. It's definitely my favorite soup everywhere. And it's relieving, especially uh, just like you came from a very long travel. Yeah. This was meant to be part of the same trip, but I couldn't quite work it out. So during Fiesta, I went back up to Lipo in Dinagat, which is where you'll remember I had a project of, of giving out pump boats to fishermen there. This is what makes all of the difficulties worth it. The next day, the beneficiaries themselves helped to get the boats ready for the ocean. Just like last time, we handed them over with Mayor Melody and some words of encouragement. So we're just going to test one. We're going to get this, uh, this one running. This is the Phil Willie TV boat. We're going to get this one running out on the ocean. Boat test, because then we're actually going to go all the way out. So we hope they work, because if they don't, there's going to be a problem. We got there in the end, we got there in the end. These, these projects are not without difficulties, absolutely not without difficulties, but it's always worth it for these moments. These are lives, people's lives. They now have the tools to go out and, and make a living for their families. Yes! Happy Fiesta, I shot, shot down, shot, 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 shot! The only thing I'll run for is a shot. Happy Fiesta! Happy Fiesta, Lipoa! Nice one, Commander! Ah! <laughs> thank you, thank you! Hey, thank you Another thank one, you. sir! Another one! Another one. Oh, oh, she's good! Ah. I'm banana cinco! Ah. <laughs> Look at that! He fucked up! We can hit back! Happy hey. Fiesta! <laughs> but maybe the most special day was when I took kind of difficult journey over to Barangay My Too Big, 18 months after Odette ravaged it. 18 months ago, the scale of the devastation in this isolated city of less than 1,000 people, connected to the world only by boat, was so overwhelming that it brought me back to the municipality of Libho three times. Today though, is a story of hope, of recovery, of how people have come together to rebuild their home. I won't dwell on the past, just show how a community lives so far away in better times. It's good to be back. <laughs> Lagi, <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, the calamansi I planted. I thought I'd left it in good hands. But there's no substitute to being hands on yourself. And coming back to the farm after lunch, I was confronted with a surprise. So we had eight guys working. One of them told me he had fever and he did just half day. I said, okay, no problem. And then when I came back from lunch, four more had disappeared, but they walked. And that's like an hour or two's walking. So I don't really know what's going on. They just, four of them didn't say anything. So I don't know what's happened really. So I guess I better use one of the glass cutters. This was my job about nine years ago when I lived in Darwin, Australia, but it seems like I've forgotten exactly how to do it. They're laughing because I cut kind of high. But today, I've hired a family experience with Caramancy, so let's move on from that. Oh. 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 
kwa o ni. Dili no no cutting. Ah, English. English. Ni kantong bunga ibelin pod. Bilin. Dili ni po kwa o kay hapusan. Hapusan na ta kani. Dili ni sa pwede kwa o. Ah, mao ba. Hapusan. Usay sin English ug hapdot. Aptos man, mong sakit no mo magka oh. ma karing tuwa. Oh, ano? Oh. 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 The trading areas of Bongao are actually pretty compact, and it's much easier to explore the narrow streets by foot. And I immediately made a new friend. Hey! Hello, I'm done. Hello! I'm your follower. Oh, hey! I'm one near the out. Now, I'm back. Stingray. Oh, wow. Kiampao. Ah, Kiampao. Yeah. Oh, wow. Same with that. I've never seen dried stingray before, but here we are. Wow, and this, wow, look at this. Something tells me we're near the port. <laughs> so, my other guides, <laughs> these guys are from tourism office, so, hello. <laughs> if you ever concerned about coming here, they told me I actually have a night to walk around by myself if I like. There's no problem, they said it's safe. The police are low-key monitoring me, but you can walk around by yourself. But if you want to really arrange it, go to tourism. Bongai tourism, everyone's so friendly, everyone's really, really welcoming, smiling. It's there's a distinct Filipino spirit here, but it's it's different. You're next to Malaysia. So much seaweed, we're right by the ocean. This is the Chinese pier we're walking onto now. Named the Chinese Pier for the Chinese and Arab merchants who traded with the locals for centuries. It's now the main dock for lanchers going to the other municipalities of Tawi Tawi. This is the best view of all, the big wooden boats. Very, very traditional to this region. But this is all made of wood? Yeah, yes, sir. Wow. It must take so long to build it. Yes, it was two to three years. That's a big, yes, sir. If there is no supply of wood, they cannot build that yeah. wooden boat. Hi. <laughs> Okay, this one is, I mean, it's literally going straight up. It's a uh, <laughs> scoreboard. Oy, wow, it's big, huh? Hey, hello. Oh, I can go on board. Good okay, luck. Okay, okay. I'm going to go explore on board. I don't think they know I'm here. I'm slipping on the paint. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, wow. No, it's really... Hello. Hey, hey. Hey. Oh, you wanted. Hello, hello. Good. How are you? I'm fine. Good, good. Good, good. good. This one going to which place? To Tangana. To Tangana. Ta Tangana. 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 Yeah, oh. yeah. Fa, Malayo. 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 Oh, okay. Tatanak is other names of the Turtle Island. It's one of the municipality in Tawi Tawi. Turtle Island? Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, wow. That's far. How, how, many, how many hours? To the... 20 hours. Oh, far. 20 hours? Wow. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hello, love. Hello. 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 <laughs> and the <laughs> and it really is the wood on the floor goes like that. I don't know if you can appreciate it. I've got to come back down now. This is uh, scary. <laughs> it's a good view though. But this pales in comparison to navigating 20 hours across the open sea. And I found out later, this boat only goes once a month. And the fishermen and traders were really excited to show us their catch. I've never seen sea mantis before. Oh, wow. How does the sea mantis go inside? Ah, 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 okay. 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 
This guy also has a net of secrets, and he wants me to hold his lobsters. I went there knowing the weather could turn again and I'd be stuck. But honestly, I'd be quite happy to be stuck in Sitankai. 20,000 people live on these canals built on a shallow ocean bed. The southernmost municipality of the Philippines is maybe its most unique. Sitankai has floating markets, abundant seaweed, the most dramatic M. Luillier branch, and much more, all centered on its Grand Canal, which they call the Venice of the South. But I'm enjoying the view, and this boat is quick. I'm waiting for us of all these smaller boats. Okay, so because the tide's low, we've got to take this small boat over to the actual floating village. So first, this is going to be awesome. I'm so We're on the Grand Canal, the main water and thus traffic flow, complete with floating gas station. The large warehouses here are mostly for seaweed and at low tide, we can see how the canals are built of coral brick. Even have a dual carriageway bridge. Central reservation in the middle. This is way, way, way too cool. And it's just been crafted. Welcome to Sitan Take a walk here. Oh, that's cold. Gamay in Bisaya is... Small. Small. Gamay for us is this. Sea grapes. I think we call this... Lato Lato, or is it? Lato. No, Lato. No, lato. Lato. Not lato, lato Lato. Lato Lato is, is this. Yeah. That's Lato. Let's go Malenki. I noticed no one else is buying on boats, but we'll... So is this per, per bundle? Or the price per bundle? Per piece. Per piece. Okay, per piece. How do I ask how much? Pilasin. Pilasin. Oh, Pilasin. Fifty. Fifty. How much is Fifty. Fifty for four. Fifty for four pieces. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get fifty. Okay, we'll get four pieces here. Four pieces. Oh, that's a big fish. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Okay, look at the size of this. I'm, I'm going to give this to the caretaker back there. I can't possibly eat all of this. Oh. I like Basiland. This Isabella was really the first place that I discovered this archipelago. And I discovered how rich the culture can be. And it was really great to be back and to see that the Marang Marang Women's Association was doing so well. We thought we had a break in the rain, but life doesn't always turn out that way. During my first visit to Basiland last June, we visited Marang Marang, where the community was starting to be empowered by tourism. Now, they have something really awesome. Timing. 
Back in Marang Marang again and the closeness association has this now. We have a roof, it's okay. Can't on the sub. <laughs> Sir, if you want. Oh, yes, please, yes, please. Kahawa native from Lamitan, sir. Hi, idol. Kape, kape. Locally caught food. It's simple but delicious. And this was an adventure. I know so many of you have seen this. This one in two months became my most popular and most viewed video ever. And I really appreciate that. And I really, really appreciate the work these guys do. These men do one of the hardest jobs of all, supplying our markets with fresh tuna. I went out with them to see how it's done and came away with a huge appreciation of fishermen everywhere. And after three hours of pulling in the net, they were able to attach it to the hoist and really enter the final stage. Now, three and a half hours after we started, we can begin the harvest. <laughs> to harvest the tuna, a smaller catch net is hoisted up towards the fish carrier. Tying this rope opens the bottom, allowing the fish to fall into the ice box below. More ice and ice water is added because ice killed fish stays fresh longer. One by one, the ice boxes were filled up and we finally saw land just before it got dark, arriving in the fish port after 12 hours at sea. Yes. <laughs> is that, is that? We're unloading. Not this size fish, unfortunately, but this stuff's really cool to see. The massive tuna. The boat beside us is unloading these huge tuna, generally between 30 and 70 kilos each. Oh, good man. We have permission to do this. That's pretty heavy. It would be like a kilo, isn't it? They're separating them into massive, not so massive, and giant. Speaking of revelations, the Suzuki V Strom 250. What an awesome motorbike this was. Oh, this is also the, I think the Wack Wack's been having a party here. Let's just say it can handle my lack of skill. Slade, slade, your mate. And I went back to Tawi Tawi. Immediately. Almost. That's how much of an impact it had on me. The Sama de Laot people traditionally lived a nomadic life on these leper boats, and it's one celebration of the Kamahadika'an festival. This year, Tawi Tawi is celebrating its 50th anniversary as a province. So, a few months later, let's see how the Karamansi look. Remember these before? They were nothing like this. They were struggling a bit. Now, oh, beautiful. Just the growth is amazing. Really something amazing. And around this time, I was able to see the awesome work that this local cooperative does in Loreto with organic rice. A tributary of the Agusan River provides our backdrop today. A cooperative I visited a few weeks ago, helping farmers grow organic rice. Today, I'm putting the AFAM in Sib Bafamko. AFAM, Sib Baf Just me, just me, just me. And I'm really impressed actually with how they, this cooperative set up everything here. They have a dryer, they have a mechanical dryer, they have a mill. They have harvesters that they rent out. So it's really making life easier for the farmers here because they formed into a cooperative. Hello, Kasako. 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 Hello, Kasako.
Oh. You don't go and eat dog, no? Oh, black rice. Black. And they're not just harvesting rice. Hi, Baki. Hi. Oh, oh. Have I harvest? Oh. I still have root one. Oh. You can go and consume more. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. Oh, oh. I'm going to eat Oh. Pag kuhan, magbalik yun na ang kuhan. Bugas. Chat-chat, oh. dadayon. <laughs> I've never actually seen this before, and the harvester makes it so much easier than just picking by hand. You notice here, because this is organic, you notice it's very, very green, and the soil's very, very dark brown. Makes a big, big difference. Oh. Kahit kayo? Oh. Tumot kay katong <clears throat> element sa, sa abono. Murag si, sediment siya ba? Sedimentum. Ang element nga, ang gahe ang yuta. yuta. Mm. Mo to nga dili kit ka penetrate ang humay kay ang gamot niya limit ra ang maabot. Maabot sa ito sa kagasulta. Tapos maayo ang resulta. Sa primero, murag ni reduce ang harvest. Anto ni dako ni increase ang harvest. Ni ubos ang among gasto. Kay ni balik ra natural ang yuta. Tama, tama. Nag Oo, oh, oh, pagparik ng natural sa yuta, okay na. Oo, oh, okay na ang harvest. Okay. Ang kuhan, imong harvest, Devi. Ma mauna ko ang pwede sa uno, wala pa yung ganit. Oo. Oh. Oo, oh, ayaw. Marami pa bugat. Bugat mo kayo ko ganit. Bugat ka dun, sako. Oo. Oh, oh. He's struggling because they're telling me the rice from the organic stuff is much heavier. You don't lose half of it to the husk. You're losing a very small amount of it. This is just good quality rice. And this machine, it takes an hour to do what would have been a week before and I appreciate that because I went picking gumai as well. Para patambok, molasses, uh, tangkong, golden kohol, niya, mga vegetable, ina-permen para patambok sa yuta. Ayan. Tama ba, Grio? You missed a bit. The next month of my life was very disjointed, but the highlight of that was definitely, definitely seeing old friends again in Catty Eel. Ah! I know you asked for a banana queue. I know you asked for banana queue, but... Allah! Hey, we both got cameras out. What's up, guys? What's up? Yeah, everyone's here. Good. The, the healthiest man alive eating the healthiest food alive. Row, You've been caught, man. When commander arrives with donuts, you have one. Yeah, ube, good classic. Dog nuts, dog nuts. Dog nuts. <laughs> Matcha. Matcha. I saw this random green stuff. I was like, oh, okay. And this red, this red's quite kind of worrying, you know? Strawberry. <laughs> mm. Actually, that's pretty good. Or do you prefer banana cube? Uh, either way, they're fried. Commander, salamat! Oh. Salamat, salamat, Commander! <laughs> commander! <laughs> this is how to grate a coconut, but there's just one problem. I'm not very good at it. Now it's time to leave it to the professionals for a little while. Meanwhile, I just prepared the vegetables. Other vloggers might claim to have done all of this themselves. However, I'm not that competent, so last, let's see what I've learned. Hello. Wow. So we're using coconut water. Yeah. Squeezing the own own flavor box. Then we literally squeeze the milk out. This is a labor-intensive process. This one is for the chickens tomorrow. Mmm, I'm helping the chickens too. Mm. This one is Hinai. Hinai. So we need a fire. Uh, Slow cooking up. is the way. It's very social. The firewood is a furniture of Colas. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I'm going to seal the marinated fish in a pan. Most important, don't crowd the pan. Stand up style. What's wrong? Nothing. Oh. Life is good. This is just like two minutes aside, quick, ready to go. I'll do most of the cooking in the sauce. All the fish is done. Like this, limpio, limpio. 
Let's fry the spices up first. Mix that together. That's our sauce, the base. Then fish and potatoes are gonna go in first. Now we wait for lots of liquid to heat up on a wood fire. Good luck. There's something special about cooking over a wood fire, watching the sauce reduce. I've seasoned it. Let's thicken the sauce up. <laughs> Chef's kitchen, let's go. Tricks, my little tricks. One shot at this. La 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 la. <laughs> Multinational, we did it. <laughs> Let us pray. Lord, thank you for the food. Amen. <laughs> Everybody! Good day! Good day! Oh, reaction video! Oh. Saucy! 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 Wow! 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 Even the V bar. Even the artist is saying, wow. Chew is very quiet there. You know, it's good to make people happy. I can taste everything. It almost tastes like I'm at like a Indian fusion restaurant here in Katiyo. What's this guy talking about? <laughs> and you'll know. Quite recently, this might be fresh in your mind, but it was also really a highlight and really opened my eyes to a place that even one year ago, I didn't think I'd make it to so soon. Sulu. But before, this is a very critical area. But that was before. Earlier this year, Sulu was declared free from insurgency. It is a peace. No war. And I'm so excited to show you this beautiful province and the great house of culture and history that underlines it. Hi. Hi, Morning. Morning. Welcome to Raulo. Welcome. Morning. Welcome to Raulo. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. And to mom. Leaving the urban area behind, we can still see some signs of the past, but also the traditional Tausug home, elevated above the ground. Our traffic enforcer. Well, the traffic enforcer? In the middle of the road. So, well, this is Mangsali Beach Resort, and what a contrast it is to the journey here to, to Holo, which is quiet on a Sunday. It's difficult in terms of water, but then here. Uh, hey! Yeah! Hello! <laughs> thank you. 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 Thank these pristine waters are joy to both our eyes and to those who earn a living from them. Hey. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Hey. Welcome to the day. Thank you, sir. Oh, Mano. Oh, Mano. Oh, space. But the freshest fish is found here by the fish landing. Good, good. They're all fresh from that boat. Ah, from this, this one? Boat, that boat, they're all unloading it. And these are sold by, by like peace or by by peace or by we call it tumpok. Tumpok. Butang. Hmm. Kilasen. One fifty. One fifty. Bagam fifty fifty takok si Jin. Ah, joker kayo ha. One fifty three. Three. Two fifty three. Two fifty three. Two fifty three. Two hundred three. Two hundred three. This is tuna or is tuna. Okay. Okay, na tong. Puyan. 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 Yeah, depending. If we have a lot of spices, we can put more. 
Is there any better place to cook this? It's really such fine powdery sand here. And the water, I've, I've not seen anything like that for a long time. These islands off the coast of the main islands, so you have the volcanic islands like Holo, of course, but these smaller islands, they often have this form. Beautiful white sand beaches, the bluest of blue waters, and then lagoons and mangroves on the inside. It's an interesting geographical phenomenon. I can't speak English anymore because that food was too good. Ah, <laughs> Junai. <laughs> Let's see how if he can touch this. One, two, three. Ah. Oh, almost, almost. One, two, three. Yay! Oh, ah, he's gonna get it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Brother, how are you? Huh? Today, I learned that monkeys eat mice. I never knew. Inspired by the monkeys. How are you going to hold it? These rocks are awesome. I have no idea how they're formed. It looks like sandstone to me. Do you know anything about them? I don't know a lot about it. Fat Indiana Jones is back. It's been a while. <laughs> okay. They are constructing a bridge or a ladder from there, I think, for us to walk there. Oh, wow. One of the theories, I think, they call it Lopasug because the Sug, Sug is current. Current is very strong. The question remains as to how it was formed, but one thing is clear it's stunning. <laughs> Different style, but they use small fish here for Kili Lao. And this mango, mm -hmm. I can taste it's still unripe, but the flavour in it, all of the food I've eaten here in Holo, it just tastes fresher. This is what I got earlier, no idea what it is, still no idea what it is. I think type of shrub that goes widely. It tastes kind of like turmeric actually. Mm. It really, you can taste that turmeric, it's really, wow. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Is this not normal? <laughs> My favourite thing ever, Crater Lakes. If you love crater lakes like me, Holo Island really is a dream. There's so many of them. It's volcanic, it's very volcanic, and that's what makes the soil and all of the produce just so good. Special, special island for sure. My time's nearly up, but for sure, for sure, I'll be back again. The other side of Sulu, it's very different. Bangingi municipality, I really enjoyed my time there. I appreciated their generosity, but it was way too early in the morning. And if they can do it, then so can I. Hello, man. And this is where we met the legendary principal for the first time. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Bang pageant. You go like Magano. You go like Mago. So these guys, they're just preparing that for pageants. They have pageants here. <laughs> bang bang hantak. <laughs> bang bang hantak. Rice, uh, no. rice flour ata, yeah. Uh oh, rice flour. Oh, this is Ah, selfie, go. 
Welcome to Sahaya Sanba, and this is really, really wide. I hear Sahaya means shine, and it is, it's shiny. It's like a salt flat. It's very, very cool. What you can see in the distance is, it's like many tiny little sambas, samba, samba, samba in the distance. Absolutely beautiful. This is really, this is giving me the same vibes I had in Sitankai going to Sekulan. And again, well, I guess this is a long straight island, both Sitanka and Sebuto are. It's, it's giving me the same vibes, you know? Same vibes. Hi, TikTok! <laughs> Videoki on a boat, what? <laughs> This was already a very cool barangay, and this must be the best welcome I've ever had. Hey! <laughs> this is the best welcome to a barangay ever. So if I fall in the ocean, they're gonna get capture you. A million views. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> This is the best welcome I've ever had. <laughs> okay, I don't know where we're going, but I like this place already. Welcome to Barangay Tabi Alan. Okay. You're going to school too. Going to school, okay. I, I'm disrupting classes. I didn't realize it was quite so far. So trekking through the forests of Sulu. I never thought I'd ever say that, but here we are. It feels stuck in time, a Jurassic world. And then we found something. Back on my Bulawan. Mawala 70 calories. I'd convinced them to go inside. The scariest thing we found being these tiny birds or maybe bats. <laughs> but more importantly, I'm too big to fit in this gap. Welcome to Dwai Bud. Dwai meaning two, Bud mountain. Two mountain. peaks in the middle of the ocean. And even if the journey was like this, I remember in Basilan they taught me there's a Sama belief do not shout at the ocean, it'll make it worse. So, well, I tried not to. I can't guarantee everyone did. Wow, the Okaro of that ocean. Paru Paruji. Paru Paruji. Ah, Paru Paruji. <laughs> There's a boat full of it on the ocean. And landing, I found even more dried stingray and shark. I know young Pawang, I know Pawang. Pagi? Pagi. Pero may maliit. Oh, maliit. Walang, ano, walang, walang, ano, malaki. Wala mga laki, wala kayo naman. Pero hindi malaki, pero hindi makakuha yung neat namin siya, maliit. Ay, ito siya lang kang pagpapa. Lampan. Ayo. At the back of the island is something incredibly important. Here to catch water from the rain. They've dug a big pit here to collect it. It'll come down here like a waterfall, collecting the pot. It hasn't rained for a couple of days, so there's nothing left. It's a long, long way away. We're at the back of the island. And I think this demonstrates the resiliency of people here. I mean, just look at these rocks and how they've been formed, how they get smashed by the ocean. This is certainly not a straightforward life. But the ocean is light today, which means we get to appreciate the bounty of the sea, the reward for the trials and tribulations. Even seahorse. So because we're so far away, 
they have to dry this. So you've got dried stingray and dried sh died. Of course it's died, it's dead. Dried shark. So the two of them, that's their main product here. But there's something even more bountiful found in the waters nearby. <laughs> no. <laughs> Kuvacha, or spanner crab, found only in a few places in the world. And you were afraid and thought it was alive. Yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, this is the biggest kuracha that I've ever seen. Yeah. That's a big one here. There's only 300 per kilo. Once that gets to Zambonga, that's more than a thousand per kilo. So you see there's a big, big difference at the source and there in the city. Perfect with all of our sauce. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to bring this back as long as we can dock the speedboat. Bigger than my head. Yeah. Literally. Then I left the Philippines, I went to Malaysia and spent 12 days in the jungle there with the Philippines team. Hey, hi, uh, my name is Mark Ortega. I'm from the Philippines. I'm 35 years old and I'm currently running in the production category or R3. This is my first time to drive a right hand drive rig. <laughs> 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 it is not easy, but it is fun. And then I came back to the Philippines by boat. It's a bit bigger than I expected. I think 100 plus passengers. It's mostly people who are either from here and have business in Bongao, or people in Bongao who come here for business or for family. I've met guys whose families are here, but they were born there. These links go a long way back. On board, you can go downstairs or upstairs. I've gone upstairs. Actually, these seats are pretty comfortable. We'll see in seven hours' time if I agree, but pretty comfortable. and we immediately rolled into a storm which the boat handled really well. I hope I don't have to though because... Actually, even though we're going through a storm, this is very, very comfortable. You don't feel it at all. White sand beaches and floating houses. With the ocean much calmer, I decided to explore the boat a bit in search of a cafe. <laughs> And I went for the international cuisine aboard the international boat. From coastal villages not unlike those of Basilan, Sulu and Tawi Tawi, to floating resorts, this is still part of Malaysia. So we're about halfway through the trip, four hours in, that was Simpona there. We're going to see Sitangkai Sibutu soon and then we'll head into Bongao probably just before the sun sets. And for dinner, it's got to be Malaysian noodles. Meal of champions. So we passed Panguan Island, entered Philippine waters. We're just going past Sitangkai now as the sun's setting. It's a little bit longer than the seven to eight hours we were expecting, but it's been a great adventure. It's nice to come this way to see how the world opens up. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. 
Legal eh. <laughs> <laughs> long day, long day, long day. Yeah. But we made it. Been almost all the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward Getting to eating. Burst. We arrived 8 o'clock. It's now 10.20 p.m. I'm done with everything. I'm legally in the country. And I'm going to go through the back door. Terrible joke. Come through the back door and I'm going through the back door and going into Bongao, into the Philippines via boat. It's amazing. Hey, thank you, thank you. This is... Ah, we've got... Hey, thank you. All the food options are closed. They've literally taken me to a wait to eat. You drink coffee. Ah, thank you, thank you. Too loco. Salamat ka ayo. Oh, the single. Don't go to the Oh, lagi. Sigi, sigi. Sigi, sigi. Next time. Next time, next time, ha? Okay, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Bye bye. Tawi tawi. Again. A third time in six months. I can't believe I'm back for the third time this year. It's, uh, I don't normally visit places that often, but this, this is special here. Hello. <laughs> you know, very, very, very special here. And I've just felt like I, I wanted to understand it more and more and more. In a world where YouTube wants first impressions and seeing things the first time, I feel it's actually more important to really understand. Hello. 90 videos in 2023. That's one video every four days. So maybe half of my time this year, I've spent documenting and editing and showing the beauty of a nation that's been my home for eight years and that's always inspired me. The other half of the time, I'm here at home where I don't show so much of it because that's my family time. Next year, 2024, it's uh, 2023 has, has been quick. It's just flown by, really, really has flown by. Let's see what happens because I have no idea. Happy New Year.